back to another video. Today we are uh, actually in Mexico. We're in Ixtapa, Zihuatanejo, and this video is just going to be some of the best places to visit and like restaurants, like stores, places. So you should just go here. So yeah, let's go. Okay guys, the first place we're stopping at is called Teo Simple and they have some of the best pozole here in Ziwa and Ixtapa and um, yeah, let's go review it. They're only open on Thursdays though, so if you're here, make sure you come on Thursday and have some. Really good. So. Onion, tomato, lettuce, and pineapple and bacon. It's got everything. It's time to buy. Really good, guys. Actually, I don't think it was good last time, to be honest, the new bread. I prefer if it was that kind of bread. But I still give it a solid 9 out of 10. And the fries are amazing, too. So. Come here again. Hey guys, we got some dessert, platano asado. It's a uh, banana here. The ice cream kind of melted, but there's an ice cream right here. Um, cocoa powder and. Sorry. Say Okay, got a little bit of everything. I used to not like this, but I actually kind of like it now. I think if the ice cream hadn't melted yet, it would have been a little bit better, but overall, pretty solid. Not my favorite, but it's not bad, so I'm gonna give it an 8 out of 10. Just needed that ice cream. Alright guys, now we're in Golfito Mini Golf in Ixtapa. This is like a uh, fun thing you can do with your family or something while you're here. And if I hit a hole in one this time um, while we're doing it, you guys have to subscribe, okay? Speaking of being subscribed, according to the stat that YouTube gave me, only 2% of you guys are subscribed. So what are you doing? Subscribe. I'm going to give you 5 seconds right now, okay? Good. I'm just kidding, I know you guys still didn't subscribe. So what are you doing? Go subscribe. All right, let's get back to the video. It's uh, handmade tortillas, guacamole, salsa, and onion. 
We had some really good ones in the last place, so let's see if these can do as good. And some salsa. Okay, guys, that's covered. We're pretty solid one. For sure, the ones yesterday were in the last part taco place we went to were really good, but these ones are pretty solid. The salsa is really good though. I'll give it a 8 out of 10. Pretty solid. Okay guys, now we got the birria taco. We got some experience with these, so see how it compares to the ones in San Diego. And I got the consomme. The actual birria wasn't um, as good as some of the ones in San Diego, but the consomme was probably, it was actually a lot better than I thought it would be. Really good. It, it made the actual taco a lot better, so birria made it, yeah, 10, so it's actually really good. Place. I don't even know what number it is anymore, but we're at Emilio's in Ixtapa. It's a really the best pizza place here and in Ziwa probably. So here we have the Italiana. It's got like ham, pepperoni, mushroom, green pepper, onion. And then this is the Hawaiiana. It's got pineapple, cheese, and ham. Personally, I don't like pineapple on pizza. I know a lot of people do, but I don't. And then Española, which is ham, pepperoni, and cheese. So, we're gonna review those now. And some sauces, too. What do you Okay, guys, the first pizza, we got the Española, which is salami, ham, cheese. It's pretty good. I like the cheese that they used. It was, tasted pretty good. Um, Ham salami, obviously that's gonna be good too, but I think it could be better. I'll give it a 7 out of 10. Pretty good though. Okay guys, we got the next pizza. It's the Hawaiiana. It's got pineapples though, so we'll try it still. Okay guys, we're trying the Hawaiiana pizza. Honestly, I don't I don't like pineapple on pizza, but I think the ham and the cheese. It kind of canceled out, so I didn't taste pineapple that much, but I think if someone who doesn't like pineapple on pizza, this was actually a pretty good pizza. I'll still give it like a 6.5 or 7, because I like the other one better. Okay, for our next pizza, we got the Italiana. It has like everything on it, spinach, I mean green pepper, mushroom, ham, I think that's like chorizo or something. Alright, here we go. On all these though, they're like the 
crust and the dough is really good, well cooked. And overall, I think I like the one has like everything on it, like the peppers, the vegetables, and the meats as well. So I'm gonna give this one a nine out of ten. Best one out of all of them. So yeah, come to Emilio's if you can. Now let's go to the next place. All right, guys, we're at the next place. Uh, we've actually been here before. Said it was the best place in Ixtapa last time. Casa Morelos. This time I got the pequeña. It has like a script steak kind of and uh, enchilada, guacamole, rice, beans. We'll try the steak first. We'll try Steak I've had so far here in uh, Stapa and Ziwa. <laughs> and the enchilada too, I had a bite of it before. Good. And the rice. Hold on. Oh, and the beans. Really good. It's still probably the best place to eat in Stapa, so you come here. Then you should get the stuff again, yeah. Hey guys, happy new year. Thank you for watching the videos. Make sure to subscribe. We're gonna get bigger, better videos 2023. So yeah, enjoy the new year. Let's go. What's the fireworks? Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to subscribe, like the video, hit the notification bell, and we'll see you in the next video. Let's have a good 2023. Let's go.